Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. We're in Messyville again. We're going to be talking about Portia Williams and the Super Bowl. And who wasn't there to support her or party with her. Her favorite guy, her fiance, as she called him, her glorified boyfriend, Eeyore. Okay, Yori, Simon, Big Daddy. Whatever she calls him, child, whatever she calls him. Now, he can be at every Hawks game there is with shades on in the inside like a nut. But when he's going out drinking and partying, he ain't got no shades on. And he's just drunk, stupid and drunk, okay, in a drunk stupor. And Portia falling out on the floor, embarrassing herself and everything to that effect, okay? Now, what are you saying? He just want to... Uh, rub hands and, and, and feet and, and hugs with the local celebrities such as Ludacris. Okay. You see him in there with shades on. But when he's on the outside, he ain't got no shades on. What kind of shit is that? Okay. Does he have dementia or Portia? What's going on with the man? What is going on with the man? Alright. He can show up and show out in Atlanta. But the biggest stage for men to be on is the Super Bowl. And he missed that. Girl, what was wrong with him? Was he sick? Was he going through a midlife crisis? Was he partying too hard and just couldn't get it? Or get up to get ready to go to the Super Bowl? I mean, he's a millionaire, billionaire, zillionaire. He couldn't fly y'all over in his private jet. Plane, whatever he got, but he can go with you and party in Miami for New Year's Eve, and ain't nobody got no mask on. And it was so many celebrities at the Super Bowl didn't have any mask on, so I was like, they want another pandemic epidemic with this uh COVID going around here. Nobody want to wear masks, okay? Nobody want to take the shots. What kind of society world we live in globally? I don't know anymore. But that's not about that. We're talking about Portia. And what was her glorified boyfriend? I mean, he couldn't escort her on the Tamara Hall show when she was doing her book signing. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't there for that either. It would have been nice for him to be in the audience. But what was he, Portia? Was he at home drinking and smoking the norm for him these days? Girl, how can you sit there and have a man who has a scotch or something in his cup all the time and smoking. Between his liver messing up and him getting lung disease, I don't know which one worse him. Now, Jay-Z was out there with Blue Ivy. Okay, and Beyonce was somewhere up in the rafter somewhere chilling. He was there with his kids. And he damn sure was known in the industry. Why wasn't he there to talk to Jay-Z or The Rock? Rock was there. He was smelling what was cooking. He was down there on the field. Now that's doing big things. Okay. So we got to be a little messing. Now this man. You claim to be a millionaire. Billionaire. Zillionaire. Whatever. Isn't it just a name only. And you just speak it out. But it's not in his bank account anywhere. Because the people that were there. The who's who. Or the who. He should have been there. He had Snoop Dogg. He had Mary J. Block. He had Dr. Dre. He had Eminem. Um, yeah, 50 Cent. I mean, these were some power, powerhouse people here. And like I say, J.D. was there with his family as well. Chris Tucker was there. I don't know who the Asian guy with him. And, and there was a host of other uh, celebrities out there. What better way to negotiate to, um, not negotiate, but, um, what do you call it? When you're trying to mingle but mix, mix business in with a little pleasure. Uh, networking is what they call it. I don't know who that was. But she had to be somebody. She was down there on, on, on center stage. Is what I'm saying. Down there with the athletes. But, you know, all these people were there. LeBron, James, Drake. Uh, I don't know who that man is. I said, I don't know the other people. But y'all should know him. But, I mean, we had some serious heavy hitters at Super Bowl 56. Okay, between the Rams and the Beagles. And you got all those money dripping, you know, celebrities out there that you could have networked with. Build your empire a little further. 
okay? And if you had the kind of money that we thought you had, or you were telling us, or Portia was telling us you had, you should have been down there with Jay-Z. Now, sure, that probably cost you 100000 to be down there where he at. Because those Super Bowl tickets do not come cheap. I mean, if you probably paid 5000 6000 you probably was in the nose please section. But, see, Beyonce was up there somewhere, but she was in her skybox, see. She was, and then she wanted to come out for a little sun here and there, so she was up there real high. But, um... I forgot to include that picture. Guys, I'm sorry. But yeah. Poor shot them. Dressed like a hoe. With her skin type stuff going on. Like she don't have a fiance or boyfriend at home waiting on her. Which she should have been there. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know what Shamir was doing. But um, I guess her husband gave her permission. But if she don't watch her step. She better be watching her step real closely. Because he might be entertain somebody while she gone away i'm just saying i'm just saying take care of home first before you try to jet out and party and don't think your husband ain't doing nothing behind your back or your boyfriend ain't doing nothing behind their back so these two just like to be out in the limelight so how a bit of bit of way say she's a clean up woman hey just hear what it is but i find it very strange that this man can partake of everything in Atlanta. As far as watching the Hawks play basketball here and there. He wants to be on her TV failed show of a sitcom. Where he couldn't protect her there. He didn't really want to protect her. But where he could have been out with Ellie DeGeneres. And people like that. LeBron James. At SoFi Stadium. You know. Everybody that's out there living their best life. And they could have went to Drake after our party if they were somebody, if they were part of the who's who. Hell, even Prince William, okay, came out and participated in the games. Yes, and of course, you know, Kanye out there looking a hot mess, being a hot mess, is a hot mess. All right. He had his children there. Well, the, the two oldest ones. And that was the biggest show on earth that you would probably see this year. With all the heavy hitters, everybody just enjoying themselves. You know, most people were enjoying the halftime show, enjoying the environment, or just being there at the Super Bowl. And you had people such as the ones that are movers and shakers. They were doing a little business here and there, a little networking here and there, and partaking of the, um, of the a whole atmosphere of the game itself. If you're a true sports fanatic, and you would think that Simon, since he goes to all the Hawks games, he would be a football fashionista. Okay? But no, no, no. He was nowhere to be found. And that ain't that saying but money right there. Money. And he missed up a great opportunity to network with these people. So, I'm like, Portia, is he running from somebody? Or did that 200 k that he had to pay that lady for defaulting on a loan or how he was trying to get in Florida. Did it did it drain his bank account, baby? Because if he didn't have 200 k to give her and he was made to give to her, which hopefully she got it by now. If he ain't got the money to go to the Super Bowl, girl, why are you with him? You could do bad all by yourself and it seems like you got a free ticket. Maybe. Allegedly. You were doing some promotion for South Fi. Or uh, I read somewhere you were doing some promotion, you and Shamil. Or maybe it was just Shamil and she just brought you alone as a plus one. Okay? Because I know you didn't drop no money just to go see no uh, football game. You ain't no athletic fanatic, honey. You just want to be seen. Okay? So, what? what is it? I mean, did you have the tickets for season tickets for the Hawks? And Simon just, you know, decided he'll come with you. The only one sitting up there with shades on. What kind of man is you got, girl? You look like grandpa. Girl, he look like your daddy. He could be old enough to be your daddy. And the main game, he should have been at networking, building his empire with other businessmen and women that are in the billion-dollar section, allegedly. He should have been there, okay? And, yes, we been messing. We're going to always be messing when it comes to you and your boyfriend, Simon. Or that's not his real name. It's Yori. Okay. Girl, was the money being tight? Was he having health issues? 
tell us because we want to know, girl. We want to know because we want to know. Like Bertha want to know, I'd be damned if I'm going to pay to be out there. And then you're going to be by yourself, too. You had no man to hold on to, to take selfies with, to show off to, like you do here in Atlanta. Or when you go take your trips to, was it, Costa Rica or Turkish and Caicos? Hell, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be your other home that Simon owns or whatever. But Fallon told us on the down low that he's renting it. Girl, I'm just saying, what kind of outfit did you have on, child? Because you look like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. You know how the little uh, Western stirrups be the little thing they have on the side. You look a hot mess, girl. I'm like, girl, what's going on? You trying to be fashionista, not model, but you can't be looking like a hooker. I don't know, girl. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with your Porsche. I think you should stay your ass at home, personally. Looked at the Super Bowl if you were that into football at home, which is the best stage with your big screen TV and your little ones all around you, and definitely having your baby near you because you ain't had no business at no damn Super Bowl without your fiance. Because how you would dress, you were looking to catch somebody just like you were looking to catch somebody here. Because I think you were out with your assistant at a club somewhere here in Atlanta, uh, shaking your tail, fella. Again, without Simon. So, is there smoke? Like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire, girl. Is there some smoke coming from where you live? That's why you need to hightail it back to your house that you gave your mama, okay? And that was just a fake storyline. I know that's still still your house. And she probably still ain't in your master bedroom. She's probably just occupying the other room. And we know PJ still got her room because she just go visit you over at that house you claim to own with Simon. Ain't nobody staying there with that furniture. Okay? And Simon. Because he didn't want to live with you because he didn't want to lay the head where Dennis had laid his head. And you got all those folks over in your house. Oh, honey. Just tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil, girl. Because Super Bowl is a man's game. A man's man's game. You hear what I'm saying? And he wasn't there for that, that milestone with all those heavy hitters. Girl, did he get infected by that tattoo he he put on him with your name on it? Did he get infected? And he's taking out the bodies, girl. Was his arthritis hurting him? Hip, leg, back, knee? What was going on? Why wasn't he with you? The people are wanting to know, girl. We want to know what's going on. Hey, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Woo! Yes, and my mom gave more time. Boys, girl, what's going on, girl? Tell us. Heard it through the grapevine. How much longer will you be my, my baby? Girl, how long you going to stay with Simon? That's what we all want to know, girl. We want you to move on. Stop this farce. Stop this lie. Take all, stop all this foolish, fakery, fuckery, fraudulent shit you got going on, girl. Stop it. Stop in the name of love before you break our hearts. Girl, stop. 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 And my Luther Vandross boy. Stop to love. You fly away almost every day. You, still, I forgot the other lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> to my Luther Bedrock song, guys. I forgot it. But anyway, girl, that's what we're trying to. We want to know the why, where, how. Let me see. The what, the why, the how, the when, and where. Will Simon go body you? Okay. Yuri. Where was he, girl? He was nowhere to be found. He was 86. He was clueless. All right. It's the money getting low, girl. It's the money getting low. And he couldn't afford to come out there. Because it was expensive that weekend. It was expensive. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I can't take it no more. And I don't even see. I mean, most people that know, know. They know this is a farce of a situation of what she going to die herself into. And she don't know how to get out of it. But, honey, I was just... Tell the truth and shame the devil. Honey. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I was like, it's all a farce. We're not together. Okay. He tried to let me uh, help him build his uh, stage uh, 
presence out here in social media world in the business world but i couldn't help them i can't do it no more you, you know we would we would we, we would wrap you up with open arms and just pat your forehead like you're a little puppy and say, so, well you learned baby i'm glad you learned exposed him for what he is what he, who he is and you move it on okay but y'all that's all i got for this video it's it's it's, it's too much it's too messy she's not giving us anything because she's ashamed She's ashamed and she's afraid to face up to her truth. But this man is not no billionaire. He's not no millionaire. He probably ain't worth 100000 if we really got into it deeply. Okay? We don't know. He could be working for a drug cartel. We just don't know. Or maybe that's what he be doing. He be putting in work. Mm -hmm. Putting in that illegal work, girl. Or did he get deported again? Girl, come on. The scenarios were endless. <laughs> the scenarios were just endless. But we need you to come out, face the music, and tell us the truth, girl. Your fanatics, your fans, your followers, and curious people such as myself. We want to know, girl. We want to know. What's the dealio? What's the deal, girl? What's the 411? All right, guys. Y'all love this video. Uh, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. But I'll see y'all next time for another messy ride. More than likely, it'll probably be on Porsche again. But who knows? I might uh, switch off and do somebody else y'all never heard me talk about before. Okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.